Turn it over right now to Candace Crone. Candace, we actually hear that homes are burning in your area as well still. Yeah, DeMarco, uh, this one primarily, but firefighters are uh, working uh, very aggressively to try to put this fire out. We're still seeing a lot of black smoke, though, billow from the home. Uh, you can see uh, that water stream there. Uh, every couple of minutes, we've seen some flames pop up, and then uh, they kind of lay down because firefighters uh, douse this home. But again, with the winds uh, being so unpredictable, they kick up any little hot spot, and then that's when, you know, flames started. But as you can see, uh, they have made a lot of progress just within the last a half hour or so since we've been here. We have uh, heard parts of, and seen parts of a home collapse. It's almost uh, a shell now compared to what it was when it first caught fire when we arrived this morning. But, uh, Tommy, if you follow me over this way, I also want to show you uh, firefighters. There's another home here on this block that uh, they're focused on right now. And as you can see, crews are on the roof because just a couple of minutes ago, we did see some flames on the corner of this home here. So as you can see, they are now uh, kind of chopping away at the roof just to make sure that there are no flames kind of subsiding in, you know, inside of this home. Every now and then they'll pop up. Tommy, be careful. Um, but you can see that they are just trying to get some of those shingles out just to make sure that there's uh, no additional fire in this home. They've also had to break out some of the windows. Earlier this morning, there were flames in the attic, and so that's why they were up there focused, trying to uh, put out that fire, which they have. But again, you can see this one. This is the second home here on uh, Sequoia Road that they've been focused on. This one, though, uh, it's not a total loss like the one uh, just two doors down, uh, thanks to their quick work. Uh, and just kind of keeping a close eye on the situation, DeMarco and Suzanne. Yeah, I mean, we've been watching that house all morning long, Candace, and yeah, it's it's incredible the work they're amount to, uh, they're able to do to prevent it from spreading. Yeah, we talked about the uh, how they're able to penetrate the rooftops and also cut into the sides. You showed us uh, one earlier uh, in the day. Now that uh, we are looking at daylight and firefighters are getting a better sense, uh, Candace, of assessing uh, that area, what have you noticed differently from, you know, the time that you arrived on the scene until now? Well, first off, right now, the wind isn't as bad as it was uh, earlier this morning, and that was one reason why uh, the fire here at this home uh, just kept sparking up. But uh, you can see just with the direction of uh, the water, it, it's still very strong, though. The, the winds are still uh, pretty relentless out here. Uh, but again, they have just been very aggressive, working so hard, doing an incredible job uh, trying to uh, put that fire out. And also, we've seen them spray down uh, homes next door uh, just as a precautionary measure, uh, we also did see uh, two people return to this neighborhood, just kind of rushed by us. Uh, the woman said she was coming to get her dogs, um, and we haven't seen her since. She just kind of, uh, you know, was in a hurry, obviously. And so, uh, but other than that, that uh, those are the only two people that we've seen uh, this morning. Everyone has pretty much taken that evacuation notice seriously. They got out so that firefighters can do their job and try to get this fire under control. All right, Candace, Candace, I got to tell you, you and your photographer, Tommy, along with the rest of our crews have been doing just a fascinating job uh, all morning long just giving us these pictures uh, here, pictures that I hadn't even seen.